Bonjour, bonjour, the French gunsmith here. And what I have in front of me might be the rarest firearm I've ever shown on this channel. And if you knew already what that is, well, congratulations, you're officially a Civil War gun nerd. So let's zoom in a little bit more to see what the heck is it. So I'm gonna put on my gloves because this is pretty rare and don't mind the little insignia on it. So for those who still do not know what it is, it's totally normal because you don't see those quite often. This is a cup fire revolver. This one is made by Eagle Arms in New York. And what this essentially is, is a early revolver using early types metallic cartridges. Because you might be aware that in the, in the late 1850s, the Roland White patent patented this sort of revolver where you have a hole all the way through the cylinder. And because this was patented, any other company could not do it. So they had to adapt and try to come up with different sort of idea to still be able to sell revolvers, but not infringe on the Roland White's patent. And this is one of those revolvers. This was patented in 1863, so in the middle of the Civil War, and is pretty much today very, very rare and impossible to find, especially here in Europe. So, how does it work? It's really simple and reminds me a lot of this Smith & Wesson. So, you have a hammer, it's single action, you have a spur trigger. And unlike this Smith & Wesson, it does have a half cock position that works as a unloading position and also a safe position. So, to load the revolver, it's pretty strange for us nowadays, but it was pretty standard at the time. Unlike the Smith & Wesson, you cannot put any ammo from the back. You need to put it from the front. So you put it on half cock, and then you can operate the cylinder, drop a round in of 30 cup fire, and if you want to unload, you have this little lever that you can rotate. With the glove, it's kind of finicky. And then push. You have to align those, and if you push, you can see it. It's right in there, and it push the cases out. So this is basically how you operate the gun. But what makes it very rare? So this was produced by Eagle Arms, right there, also by Merwin and Bray, and was a patent from Plants Manufacturing. They did, from the pocket pistol, the 30 caliber, they did around 1100, 11,000, excuse me, 11,000 pistol in 30 caliber. They also did a military version in 42 caliber. They did around 9,000 of those. And they are early version of those not using brass, but still, and it's kind of complicated. So let's just stay on the basics. And let's say that there is around 10,000 10, of those in brass that were made. So you have here the serial number, 40 and 50. And you have these strange little markings that normally you don't see on any of those pistols. But if you know about US military proofs, you might be recognizing this. This is APC. The initials of APKC, an inspector during the Civil War. He worked for the Union and inspected for the Navy and also the Army. And what that basically told us 
is that this gun was approved in the army. But normally it's not possible, because those guns were never officially adopted by the US Army during the Civil War. Well, that's what makes this gun extremely rare. This is a private purchase revolver during the Civil War. So basically, 150 years ago, an officer decided to buy one of those in a shop. And to be able to carry it during a battle or just on mission, he had it approved by the army. So basically, this little stamp, those basic three letters, are telling us that this revolver took part in the Civil War. This is an undoubtable proof that this revolver saw action during the Civil War. And this is absolutely mind-blowing to have such a rare revolver in hands, because I'm going to tell you, not a whole lot of these 30 cup fire were used and were approved during the Civil War. There might be a dozen or even 50, but that's it. This is just mind-blowingly rare. And I'm super proud to be able to show it to you today. And I, I think, I think if you have any question, you can leave them in the comments. But because there's not much information about this, it's going to be complicated to <laughs> answer you. But I'll try my best. And I'll also be linking some of the website that I've researched on. And that basically told me that these three layers were an army proof because I'm no expert and discovering that was just absolutely awesome. So stay tuned for the next video and have a nice day.